morning guys i finally have a day off and i'm so happy because i was able to run around and do so many errands i still have a few more to do and then i can finally finally start organizing the house it's such a beautiful day as well i want to take honey and biggie for a walk or just go out somewhere just so that they can enjoy the sun because I just feel bad even though now they have a backyard and they can just chill in it I just want to be able to take them places and just like have fun <laughs> so I'm gonna go finish off the rest of the errands I want to do a big grocery shop as well because we've still been eating really bad I keep saying we need to get better we need to get better and it just hasn't happened since we've moved into this new house I know how barely eats during the day as well because he's just so focused on doing what he's doing at work he just forgets to so I need to come up with some ideas of what he can bring to work so he can just like quickly snack on and eat and all that stuff I really really want to make some protein balls later on today and I want to uh, make a stir fry so that we can have throughout the week and tonight I think I want to have rice paper rolls because the weather's nice we haven't had it in a while and it's just really fun and nice to eat Good afternoon guys, this is the start of the day with the Weasel squad right here. Josh aka Weasel aka Vlogless Josh aka mm, aka my arms are bigger than your whole body aka You take nice way too long to do things. Anyway, so on today's <laughs> Today's agenda, we have Chase taking B-roll right here of these things right here. Entertaining day already, isn't it? But um, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys something and explain something real quick. Give me one second. So this is obviously a Yeezy Pirate Black and you guys can tell it's sagging all through here, right? And if you wanna keep the shape of your shoes really well, we have these for sale right now on the Sneaker Laundry website. So these are adjustable shoe trees, right? So no matter what size you are, it will go from, I think like a US 5 to a US 13, which is perfect and they, snap in just like this so they stay like this I'll pop it in and you can instantly see the shape difference see without it bam it gives it the perfect shape and it makes the toe correct the good things about these are compared to the IKEA ones I'll do a full review on these shoe trees and why they are better than the IKEA ones they don't put so much tension through this area here because the IKEA ones are spring loaded so you have it go up like this but these ones are much better and all you do to take them out is you pull on the tab like so straight out and the IKEA ones are really hard to use so I like these ones much better and they're super cheap they're $5 for a pair and I know a lot of you guys are actually coming through and buying them I just wanted to explain why people are going crazy over these ones because they're much better and easier to use so yeah that's the end of this segment Finally back home. Literally, I did so much grocery shopping and it was actually reasonably cheap, but I actually did only buy a lot of drinks. Gotta unpack the fridge now. Look at our fridge. I swear, if this is not pretty, then I don't know what is. So organized, so many different juices, soy milk, and up and go. I'm not sure if Hal likes his flavor. I remember there was only one flavor he did drink, and I'm just kind of guessing it's banana, or maybe it's vanilla, or chocolate, or strawberry. I don't know. We got some Gatorade, because he's starting basketball up again tomorrow. Uh, solo soft drinks, stuff for dinner, eggs. Who knew that eggs went off so fast? Like, I thought they had ages until it went off, but it's only got a couple of weeks. Stuff, stuff, yep. Honey, no food for you, okay? No food for you, you eat too much. Okay, good girl. 
My next mission now is to organize this pantry. Obviously, I'm not going to do it today because I don't have the things that I need. But I really want to make this really neat. So I'm thinking of getting like baskets or something like that. I've been looking on Pinterest for ideas. I don't know if I want to get like just the metal ones, which you can kind of see through, which is similar to this. Or if I want to get like wooden like crate things. I have no idea. Next up on the list is to unbox this. We bought this like a week or two ago at Kmart. There's a mirror inside. It's gonna be like the new place for us to take our outfit photos and stuff. So I've been, oh, I've been wanting a big mirror for a really, really long time. I'm excited to see what this looks like. And yeah, let's get it unboxed. I don't know if you guys can probably see, but this is the mirror. It's a bit skinnier than I thought, but it's a really, really, really good length. Now, we need to find where we're going to leave it. I think we should probably keep it upstairs, but I'm not 100% sure. I lied. They're actually so smart and someone was here. We got an AS color box. So these are some more things that will be coming out very soon make sure you stay tuned because if you guys know think of Rika something exciting is happening finished cleaning up the house as much as I could oh crap <laughs> still got a little bit more to go as per usual but I'm like you know what let's just take a break let's do some baking cooking or whatever it is I'm gonna make those protein balls I've got a recipe that I follow, so I'm gonna share it with you guys just because I really, really like it. And now that we have a nice, beautiful kitchen, it's just gonna be so good and everything. I'm so excited, you guys have no idea. All right. Okay, so the first step is we need one third of the walnuts, one third of a cup of almonds, one cup and one third of pitted dates, Okay, so these right here are the core ingredients and what we need to do is because I have a really really mini food processor I need to cut them up really really finely so that it just doesn't get jammed and stuck My main ingredients are all cut up now and if you do have a proper food processor You probably don't need to do this but as I mentioned I've got a really really miniature food processor now the next thing that I'm gonna do is put half the ingredients because my thing is so small into here and then I'm just gonna blend it up with some cocoa powder one sec I just need to figure out how much I need about a tablespoon of cocoa powder per batch and then a little bit of coconut so let's get this in I've done my two batches and now it's all in a bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them all together just because the two batches were going to be a little bit different. And then I can start rolling them into bowls. we have it they are done it only makes eight and these are pretty reasonably big size you can make them smaller or you can usually double the batch but for how and I this is perfect it'll probably last us like two or so days and then I can start making a different flavor or another batch how good is this chopping board though I love it so much yes Chase is back at work what you doing have I ever left work have I ever you did. One. Remember that time that you started break dancing? Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Fuck it up. <laughs> but seriously, what are you up to? Um, right now I'm stripping a pair of Air Max 90 infrareds, best shoe of all time. Great shoe the of one. all time. You love the one, don't you? I do. I'm actually, no one does 90s better than me. I'll say that. You'll say what? that. This is uh, Mids' shoes anyway. So Mids, I know you watch our vlogs, bro. So, uh, this you watch my yours. videos too, bro. I know, you should start to demand that actually is repairing your shoes. Sorry, and it's taking me so long to get to them. And, dun, bum, bum. 
fuck me. This is fucking LA Flames right here. He literally repainted this whole... I have not touched it yet. I stripped. What, really? Yeah. You stripped this and it looks much better than what it came in with already? Yeah. You're doing something right with life, bro. Not me. Filming and holding shoes like this awkwardly. No? You don't find that funny? I find it hilarious. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I think I'm gonna order Lord of the Fries. You hungry? Nah, um, I got banana bread. Banana bread, banana bread. Right now I'm designing some business cards. This one's obviously for Eugene. He is my business partner. That's the back. And this is the front. Very simple. Just need to add the website somewhere down here and call that a wrap. This is exactly how we take really good shots. He stands on a fucking stool and zooms in like this. Man, look how nice that shot is. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. Damn! Fuck my beer all up for you, bro. It's a real effort, bro. It's a real effort. Yeah? Oh, you can you show me your shirt? This is coming back out, isn't it? Boost Society. Oh! Boost. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, it was cocaine. Sorry, exactly. cocaine did it. Exactly. Yeah. What are you What's doing? What's up? I just uh, raided your house, so I've been here. Are you eating those Cheetos? Hey! You have them everywhere. Well, I'm sweating. Oh, you see this? Yeah. You see this? Yeah. God damn! It's lit. 2 10 a.m. Joey just left, but me and him just dropped this. Yes, even though it's 2 a.m., we dropped this. The Cocaine and Sneaker Freaker collab that we're going to be doing Saturday, November 4th, Globe Warehouse. It's going to be sick. This is the event page, guys. And I haven't showed you guys this, but maybe I have a better photo on this side. Load? Load? Is this... Yeah, this is better. There you go, guys. You can see the... This is the Sneaker freaker exclusive only that you can purchase there the white on red logo then you have the white uh, on the black t-shirt gray marble pink the vlown orange and the stripe and the, also you will you guys have been asking for this and there will be available let me jump on my personal this video right here if you guys have seen this video so i'm gonna Pause it. This is the long sleeve that I will be also releasing at Sneaker Freaker. The long sleeve with the blossom there. Blossom there. Do I even have a better photo of this? This is ridiculous. I'm showing you guys. All right. Here we go. Bam. This top right here. This is getting released at Sneaker Freaker. And you guys have been loving this one. I can't wait for you guys to purchase this. All the info is on the event page. Let's see if I can go back. Everything is on the event page, guys. So if you go to this event page, click on about. It has all the prices for everything. Most definitely, this is going to be the end of the vlog, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, I'll see you guys at the Sneaker Freaker Meet. It is on Saturday, November the 4th. We'll be dropping teasers of the new stuff the whole two weeks building up to it. I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm going to be stocking, restocking. There is going to be restocks, but no hoodies. There are literally going to be no hoodies. It's nothing going to be... It's nothing but the long sleeves, the t-shirts. What I'm restocking is the dad hats because everyone is asking for a dad hat. The keychains, the belts, and the keychains, belts, tote bags. Tote bags. I haven't restocked those in so long, so I decided to restock the tote bags. And there's going to be five different colorways of the box logos, tees. And the best thing about them, they're only $40. Only $40. That is correct only forty dollars i'll see you guys at sneaker freak meet and i'll speak to you guys tomorrow peace
And don't forget, check out the sneaker launcher whenever you guys want to. Bring your shoes in, get them clean, get them restored, get them custom, get them whatever you want. Peace.